vaccines. All right, let's talk a little bit about the weather right now because uh, Aaron Moran is standing by and we're also getting a little closer to the weekend here. Kind of starting to feel a little bit like Friday. Yeah, a little bit like Friday. The weather is going to be very similar to what we've got going on right now as we head into tomorrow afternoon. We've got partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures in Denton right now at 95 degrees, feeling like 97 there. We've got temperatures generally in the mid and upper 90s across North Texas. Those feels like temperatures are in the low 100s for a lot of the region here at the moment. Feeling like 101 in Dallas and McKinney, 100 in Two in Fort Worth feels like 99 right now in Waxahachie, but even feeling like it's 105 degrees in Corsicana right now. Don't have any heat advisories, but we are still going to be dealing with this heat for several more hours. Low 90s by 7 o'clock with partly cloudy skies continuing. We're setting up for a warm and muggy evening with the clouds eventually kind of dissipating, and then we've got more sunshine on tap for tomorrow. 20% chance for rain tomorrow. I think that's mainly going to be in the evening, so I think most of us are dry through through sunset. On Friday. Then, as we head into Saturday and Sunday, notice 20% coverage for rain and storms. We've got partly sunny skies both days. This all has to do with what we are still waiting on Tropical Storm Hannah. It is still a tropical depression at this point. Tropical depression number eight, but you can see a little more organized with this movement as this system continues to move to the west in the Gulf. There's some heavy rain, outer bands already impacting parts of Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi as well. You've got max sustained winds at 35 miles per hour, and it's moving to the west northwest at eight miles an hour. So as we look at the track of this system, and this is the latest, just coming down at four o'clock from the National Hurricane Center. We've been seeing this trend for the last few days, really, just kind of pushing this track a little farther to the south. It is expected to strengthen to a tropical storm as we head into Friday. It's holding on to that tropical storm status as it approaches the southeast Texas coast heading into early Saturday morning, and then it weakens as it moves into Texas, moves inland over Texas, and then eventually into Mexico. The weakening trend is noticeable, but you notice that it's a little farther to the south. So this is why our rain chances have dropped a little bit. I do still think we'll see some rain this weekend. It's likely going to be more of our southeastern counties seeing some of the heavier rain, nothing like what they're going to see at the coast. They're talking about four to six inches of rainfall right along the immediate Texas coastline. And then you can kind of see that cut off once you get into central Texas. So we're not looking at a ton of rain this weekend, but still a 20% chance, more clouds and slightly cooler temperatures in the low to mid 90s, Kevin.